Okay, nasa learning task 3 na po tayo. Supply the correct aspects of the verb for the following sets of sentences. So, meron tayong cook, water, and play. Verbs po yan sila, pero gagamit tayo ng tamang aspects para mailagay dito. Depende ko ano ang tinutukoy. Kung ito ba ay simple, present progressive, or present perfect. Okay? So, sa meron tayong uh, regular verbs. Okay? Ang ginamit dito ay mga regular verbs kasi ito ay, ang past tense nito ay nagtatapos sa ED. Okay? Like this one. Sa regular verbs, ano yun? Dance and shout. Ang infinitive natin, ito yung mga verbs na walang infection. Hindi na, ito yung pinaka-basic form ng verb. Okay? So, sa past, may inflection, may inflection na siya, no? So, magdadagdag ka ng D or ED. Okay, D or ED. Sa past participle, kung ano yung uh, past, simple past mo, ganun din ang sa past participle. K or PP, so in short, past participle. Yan. Ang past participle ay ginagamit kapag uh, meron tayong perfect tenses. Halimbawa, has, had, plus past participle. Ang past participle ng cry ay cried. Okay? So, yan po. Sa irregular verbs naman ay magbabago ang spelling ng past participle. Okay? For example, okay, itong uh, itong mga infinitive verbs na ito. Okay? Be, beat, become, begin, bite, blow, break, bring. Sa past simple, tingnan nyo. Beat, became, began, bit, blew, broke, brought. Pero sa past participle, iba na ang spelling niya. Okay? Ang beat, naging, naging beaten, became, become, began, begun, bit, bitten, blew, blown, broke, broken, brought, and brought. The same. Okay? Balik po tayo sa learning task 3. Okay, but before that, ito muna. Ano ang mga simple tenses? So, meron tayong simple past, simple present, and simple future. Hindi natin itatakal ang mga future, only the past and the present. Okay, so there are three tenses. The simple, the progressive, and the perfect. Sa simple, magbabago lang ang spelling kapag... Ah, sa present ay plural and singular. So, kung singular, may S. Kung plural, walang S. Okay? Sa, ito ay sa regular verb. Okay? Uh, regular verbs and uh, irregular verbs. Okay? Sa past, okay, na, uh, ang past tense ng byte ay bit. Sa progressive naman, okay, magagamit tayo ng be verbs, yung am, is, are, was, were. Okay? Kung sa past, was and were. And then, the verb ing. Yung verb mo na bite, okay, tatanggalin mo yung i, lalagyan mo siya ng ing. Okay? And then, kung singular, was, kung plural, plural were. Kung sa present naman, am, is, are. Am, gagamit ka ng i na subject. Is for singular subject and are for plural subject. And then, your verb ing. Okay? Sa perfect, Gagamit ka ng has, have, and had plus past participle. So, halimbawa, sa past uh, perfect, had plus yung past participle mo na bitten. Okay, di ba? Bite, bit, bitten. Yung past participle. So, sa present, has and have. Okay, has for singular and have for plural. And then your past participle. Okay? So, so learning task 3, Kung cook, this, since this is a regular verb, magtatapos siya sa ed. Okay? Ang past ng cook ay cooked. Okay? At ang singular is cooks and ang plural ay cook. And then the sa present perfect, the same cooked pa rin kasi regular verb siya. So, Mother is singular. Anong gagamitin mo? Cooks or cook? Okay, mother, uh, blank dinner for us. 
mother cooks dinner for us or mother cook dinner for us. So, yung simple present, ang gagamitin mo, ito, ito lang dalawang pagpiblian mo, okay? Yung cooks and cook. But since the subject is singular, okay? Diba? Pag singular subject, ang verb natin ay nagtatapos sa S. Okay, water. Water. Present sa present daw gagamitin. Okay, so simple present. So, Francis... Uh, water, waters, okay? Ang past tense niya ay watered, and then, waters, and water. Ayan. Um, ito ay, hindi ito sagot po dito, ha? Corresponding yan, ha? Hindi po. Yan lang ay sa uh, sample ng past, and then the present. Past, and then present. Okay? Singular, plural. Singular, plural plural. Okay. And then, sa play, pass daw. So, hindi tayo nang gagamit ng uh, plural. Okay. Ang past tense ng play, I played and then, the past tense ng, uh, ayun nga pala, nagdoble. Okay. Played and then, sa uh, perfect, played din. Okay. So, balik tayo sa cook. Mother, sa present progressive, ano ang gag gagamitin na? Diba? Sa present progressive, gagamit ka na ng verb ing. So, your be verb plus verb ing. Okay? Ang verb natin ay cook. So, singular is cooking. Okay? Mother is cooking dinner for us. Ganun siya. And then, sa letter C, present perfect. So, anong sabi ko kanina sa perfect tenses pag present? Okay, has or have. And then, what is the past participle, uh, participle of cook? Is cooked. So, has, singular, mother has cooked dinner for us. Ayan, uh, tinulungan ko kayo sa number one. Okay, ulit, mother cooks. Okay, dinner for us. Simple present daw kasing gagamitin. And then, sa, okay, sulat natin. Okay. Mother cooks dinner for us. And then, mother, singular siya kasi is cooking dinner for us. And sa present perfect, mother has cooked dinner for us. Okay, so, kayo na po magsagot sa number 2 and number 3. Kasi, ayan, may ano na kayo, may guide na kayo. But, mind you, sa number 3, past tense ang gagamitin. Okay? So, salamat po.